So a few weeks ago, we tried to post an Instagram photo of us when we did naked oil wrestling. But I think because I put the word naked into yes. the text. It got uh, flagged and they were like, take it down or your account will get banned. Yeah. So obviously we had to take it down. But then people are asking, like, what is this? What did we do? Um, so we just thought we'd just share. How we ended up naked oil wrestling in front of 40, 50 people. Yeah. So this probably starts in February 2023 when we went out to Sydney for Mardi Gras. We met some friends there who run a camp at Burning Man. How do you describe Burning Man? It's a cultural experience festival as opposed to your typical music festival, which is about music and lights yeah. and alcohol. It's held in America in the middle of a desert. You kind of go in groups with people, um, which are called camps, our, and each camp offers something different. So our camp had a like an art installation, which was like lantern walls. And then one of the other camps, what they offered was naked oil wrestling. I, I kind of knew it would be something Peter would want to do. You're a bit of an exhibitionist. I enjoy my freedom. Everyone from our camp came to watch us it's probably about what 20 30 people i think 20 yeah. 20 people and then when you get there there are a bunch of other randoms um we're also just watching people compete peter and i strip down take off all our clothes they put coconut oil rub it all over you and then they're just like have at it you're all lubed up now so now go on go forth and prosper <laughs> you're missing so many details so when they prepare you to wrestle the guy says you can do whatever you want, but no grabbing of genitals because we're together. <laughs> I said to the guy, but what if it's consensual? Then the guy's like, ask Peter, do you agree? I don't remember what I said, but I'm like, yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, There's no difference to me. Essentially, it's best out of three. So the first person to two wins. So the first round goes by and I beat you in like 10 seconds. Yes, it was uh, It was a landslide victory. Very, yes. very quick. And then I Wait, felt pity on I you. Think... So we're like, let's do another round. I think the thing that people probably don't realize is it's so different to normal wrestling where you just grab someone because of the oil you can grab someone but you do not have any like grip, grip at yes. all I think I pushed too hard and then he threw me out or something like that the first round I can't remember and then you beat me in the second round because you, you because like you 30 felt seconds you I think felt pity on me I, I felt pity on you oh yes so I was like oh no he might as well let him win one, you know. Peter's extremely competitive. He would never let me win. Every time I lose, it's because I let you win. So, yeah, then I beat Peter in the second round. And then finally in the third round, we are extremely tired at this point. We were pushing and grappling so hard and flipping each other over. I think we spent 20 seconds lying on the floor just trying to catch our breath. Your naked oil wrestling, I think some people will be like, oh my goodness, that's really erotic. But you are wrestling so hard trying to beat each other that you have no energy your dick is the limpest thing in the world mm, mm, mm. sometimes i would <laughs> grab peter's pp for fun just to irritate him and obviously the crowd found it hilarious and then he would just look at me like what are you doing i think i was so tired i couldn't move and then he grabs my dick and starts <laughs> jacking me off i just had no energy to stop it i'm like oh my god <laughs> I have no energy and you're using your energy on this <laughs> out of everything. Yes. Then we keep wrestling. There's a few times where we tackle each other to the ground and then also just catch our breath on the floor, mm. just like in a heap. <laughs> yeah. We're very, quite evenly matched. So the last time, what happened? I don't remember. I think I let you win. Oh, yes. He represses these, these memories. So the last time we both engaged, we were wrestling each other and then we got really tired. But then I knew if I didn't keep pushing, I had to find like reserve energy, push Peter out of the ring. And literally, I think I grabbed him and used my head and then just like try to push him out. You got to remember the floor is oily as well. So it's just like everything slippery. Yeah. And then I managed to win. I think I injured my back in it. But I beat you. Did I injure something as well? I think you pulled your shoulder or something. You pulled my shoulder. I didn't pull your shoulder. It wasn't um, the first time we wrestled, but the first time we oil wrestled, and that was actually very fun and tiring and physically exhausting. Yeah, I think you don't realize when you're trying to beat someone, how much energy that takes. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. when we were doing it, I wasn't thinking about everyone looking at us and we were naked. I was just like, how do I beat him without making him feel sad? So that's why I let him win. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't do a rematch because I've got a bad back. So What just, an excuse. He's <laughs> losing. He's just scared of losing. You heard we it just here, have folks. To leave, we have to leave it at that. You heard it here. Well, I remember that after we'd done the oil wrestling and we'd come back to camp, some of the camp members actually came up to us and were like, thank you for doing that and for having like the courage and the guts to do that. 
it inspired them to become more comfortable mm-hmm. with themselves. So one of the boys who is straight, he wanted to try cross-dressing, but he didn't feel comfortable. But he said, after we did the oil wrestling, and just kind of put ourselves out there. Mm. He was able to put himself out there as well. So I think it was really special. We did something that was outside our sphere of ordinary and in doing so unintentionally inspired other people mm. to kind of become more comfortable with who they are. Mm. You're an extremely competitive person, including against your partner. What has defeat taught you? Defeat. <laughs> defeat. Yes. I think I would have been honestly just as sour as you are if I had lost. That's why I was willing to do my back to beat you. You're more competitive than me. No, I think we're just as competitive, but you're better at pretending it's okay to lose. This experience for me is a reminder to keep trying new things. I want to try to do different things that I haven't done before, right? Even if it's just once, because you learn something new about the world and about yourself. And I think that's what life is about. Yeah, the spirit of Burning Man for me was the experimentation. You're given so much freedom to just try new things. And it's through trying new things that you figure out what your boundaries are and who you are as a person. And your life is just more fulfilling as a result because you're more aware of that, Mm. of who you are. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and leave us a comment (laughs) if you want to know about anything else. See you next time. Bye. Chai, say bye. Woof, woof. Good girl.